Let's make sandwich hoagie rolls. In your bowl, add 270 grams of warm water, one tablespoon of yeast, and one tablespoon of sugar. And then go ahead and mix that together. Now go ahead and let this sit for about five minutes or until it becomes foamy. Now that you can see that it's foamy, I'm going to add one tablespoon of olive oil, 430 grams of all-purpose flour, and one teaspoon of salt. Go ahead and place it on your KitchenAid and then let it start mixing. Now that it's starting to form a ball, I'm going to let it knead for about five minutes. Okay, so now it's done kneading. You will notice that this dough is stickier than the other doughs. So if you want to, go ahead and wet your hands. I'm gonna go ahead and remove my bowl and then I'm gonna get my dough out of here. And then go ahead and just form it into a ball. The stickiness is normal. Pour in your bowl, add your dough back in, then cover, let it rest for about one hour or until it doubles in size. Go ahead and line your baking pan with some parchment paper and then set it aside. As you can see, our dough is done rising. Gonna sprinkle some flour on my countertop and now go ahead and get your dough out on the countertop. And then I'm going to divide this into six. Okay, now that we have this into, divided into six, I'm gonna go ahead and just like flatten it out like I would do like a big loaf. So pull it kind of out to a rectangle and then you're just going to roll it up. And then you wanna pinch those seams together. And then after you have that done, go ahead and add it to your baking sheet. And you will just repeat this until you have them all formed. Go ahead and add this last one. And I'm going to cover them and let them rest for about another 45 minutes to an hour. Now that these are done with the second rise, I'm just gonna go ahead and do like three slits in each of them. And then I'll place in the oven on 375 degrees for 18 to 20 minutes. They are all done cooking. While they're still hot, I'm just gonna coat them with some butter. But I will go ahead and put the full recipe in the description below and then follow me for more recipes.